Hey guys, it's Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to do my first 2022 Christmas clean and decorate with me. We have to start off a clean and decorate with the cleaning portion, of course. I love to start with a blank canvas or a clean slate when it comes to decorating. So I'm just gathering up all my fall decor, which really isn't very much, but I wanted to put it all away, get it stored before completely cleaning the kitchen, and then of course diving into the Christmas decor, which is definitely the more fun part. I definitely ended up doing a deeper clean than just my typical kitchen wipe down so it was motivating and just a good thing to happen. It, I definitely needed it but um, I don't know about you guys, I am pretty bad about actually like moving things around and wiping them super well. I like to just make sure things like look clean and if I see crumbs or whatever then I obviously wipe that. But this time I actually like moved everything. I was wiping even like the backsplash and the cabinets because I just got motivated. I got that urge of, to clean everything really well before decorating. Our little coffee station gets so dirty. I feel like the Keurig just like splashes things even though we use big mugs. And then we've been actually just enjoying some drip coffee lately, but obviously like the little coffee grounds get everywhere and I just had to wipe everything down. But I ended up moving the Keurig so that I'd have more space for kind of like a little hot cocoa bar. So you'll see that later in the video. But I'm glad that I wiped everything down before moving anything. And here's what I was talking about with the deep cleaning. I ended up like going in on this cabinet. Be something about it being next to the dishwasher, it got really dirty. I'm so excited to start using my Christmas mug collection. That's what I'm unpacking here. And I have actually have quite a few. So I love having just the new season and new mugs to use. It just brightens my day. Oh, how I wish for the Christmases of Bye. 
Okay, as I start to decorate, you are going to notice that I move things around a ton. It takes me a long time to decide exactly where I want every little tree or every little piece of decor and I have to see it before I know for sure. So you will see me try out tons of different things on these little shelves, on the uh, tiered trays especially. So you're in for a lot of changes and moving things around. My goal for Christmas decorations in my kitchen this year was just to keep things really clean and simple. I need it to be functional. I didn't want to crowd the counter space. And I also have my toddler who like stands up on the uh, little toddler stool, whatever those are called, at our kitchen island. So I just wanted things to be kind of like clutter free and out of the way. And of course I wanted to add a lot of um, like pretty Christmas touches and colors but like I said my main goal was just keeping it like simple and clean. So I typically go for like sparkly and all this, I don't know, <laughs> red and using a lot of sparkly ornaments and those kinds of things. But this year I wanted to do more like white, red, green, but the simple side and avoid sparkle as much as possible just because I'm kind of tired of it. Yes, I am on my way. Clean and decorate ended up lasting two days which I didn't expect for the kitchen because it's a small space but I have two under two so you can't really have a lot of expectations. Here I am the next morning just getting my coffee and getting ready to decorate with Asher, my little helper. It's an early December Last year was the first time I had ever used garland in my decorations at home. Um, of course, growing up, my mom used them, and I always kind of 
stayed away from it. I don't know why, but I love the way it looks with my white cabinets. And then I also loved it on our mantle last year. So I'm definitely gonna incorporate more garland. I need to go back to Hobby Lobby. That's where I got these just simple battery lit strands. Um, I feel like garland can get so expensive if you get the really decorative ones but I really like these simple ones and I also feel like you could always add ornaments or ribbons or bows or whatever you want um, on your own and it would probably be more affordable but these were I think like ten dollars or something last year because I got them when they were 50% off again at Hobby Lobby and if I were to make a wish upon a star would it be too much to Can you tell that I'm still a bit of a newbie when it comes to garland? I feel like it took me way longer than it needed to to get these just all situated, but I wanted to have it spread out, fanning out like all the little individual branches. And also these lights were like going out for some reason as I was moving them, just part of the lights. So I had to kind of adjust a few times. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Now it's time to move over to my hot cocoa bar and work on that little station. I don't do anything big or fancy, but I like the way it looks to have like some candy canes and the hot cocoa powder. And we did actually end up using it quite a bit last year, so I had to refill our hot cocoa jar and use some new powder. A green red light with glimmering silver white. You dazzle us all from big to small. Warm laughter and white smiles, my presence stacked in piles. Take me away, Christmas Day. I feel like as I was decorating, I was constantly cleaning up messes, but that is normal life with a toddler. And just in general, you always end up making little messes in the kitchen and having to clean them up. I always had to like move things around and just start with a clean canvas yet again. go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the christmas songs that we love get yeah, all the christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, 
As you can see, it took me quite a while to just adjust everything. I moved them around so much, but I'm pretty happy with the end result. It's nothing um, like fancy or I don't know, it's not like a huge cocoa bar or anything, but I think it looks so cute and it just adds some Christmas color and a little pop. God knows that I've been longing for you, I just want to hold you close. You know the stars are shining just for you, let's take a walk and we can follow the moon till we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. I ended up pulling out the red sparkle, but just for these little bows that go on these fuzzy white trees, this is actually exactly what I did last year. Above the cabinets, I put these trees and it just added some height and texture and color above the um, garland on the cabinets. So I think it looks really cute and it really actually ties together my theme for this year, which again was just kind of simple red, white, and green. And I think it turned out really cute. I also added just some ornaments around and thought that that was a special touch to add more of the red, fun Christmas color. Let me give you a Christmas moment will fill with love and joy. I honestly didn't love the tiered tray I designed um, the first day, but as I looked at it more, I thought it was really cute and simple, and adding in these ornaments was fun too, so I'm happy with the result. I closed it. Mama needs inside. Uh, ow! Ow! gather round for it's christmas time a merry sound and the stars align let us all rejoice when it's christmas time and our hope again made new in the crowded streets calling christmas time the ones we meet wear their warmest smile and from far away, we hear bells that chime, stating Santa won't be late. And deep in our hearts, I saved vacuuming for the end, even though I had pushed some crumbs down on the ground and stuff the day before. I knew that some of the garland pieces and other stuff would be on the ground. I honestly have to vacuum like multiple times a week. I really should just do it daily. Luckily I have this wireless vacuum so it's pretty easy but I wanted to do a little final walkthrough for you guys. This is what the kitchen turned out looking like. I really love it overall. There's definitely a couple little things I might switch out and I'd like to change. The garland is probably my favorite part. This little sign is not what I want. I want something bigger, but um, I just think all of it is so magical. It's so fun to finally have some little Christmas pops and touches, and I'm excited to decorate the rest of my home. So please make sure to subscribe and like this video. I'd love your support on my channel, and Christmas is my absolute favorite time of year, so I'm gonna be having tons of videos. Let me know if you have specific requests, but I also do just the typical day in the life as a mom of my 19-month-old Asher and six-month-old River. You saying hi? Oh, you're so shy. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. Uh -oh.
But if we know. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy, but now this year. Welcome to another Christmas clean and decorate with me for 2022. Today I am putting together our main Christmas tree. So this ended up taking me a long time with my two little kids. I have two under two and that can be kind of tough. But uh, here we just needed to figure out where to put the tree this year because we have this whole little play area that's new. Uh, we used to have a dining table under that chandelier that's kind of poking out on the right side. But I'm really happy with how we move things around and I think we'll keep it this way even after the tree is gone. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little Christmas clean and decorate and I hope you subscribe and stick around for more. Stars shine much brighter. But or is it just your eyes that have lit something in me? See you coming closer from across the room. My heart is pounding really fast. I don't know what to do. Could we fall in love in this winter wonderland? The first part of setting up a Christmas tree that is fake is always fluffing out all the branches so we have to do that a ton just to make it look full and perfect. I do really like this tree but it's getting a little bit old so we might need a new one within the next couple years. A couple pieces are like falling off and the branches are a little loose and stuff but um, it works for now and it's so fun to decorate with my son Asher. He's 20 months now so close to two and he just understands more what's going on and I'm so excited for Christmas morning and even just showing him like all the decorations in the stores was fun he's starting to figure out like who Santa is and everything and these times just remind me of watching my old home Christmas videos and how we used to decorate the tree as a family and I'm really excited to continue to do that with my kids and to film everything. That's part of why I even started a YouTube channel. I just love having home videos. You will see me pick up this area so many times. I feel like I do it like three or four times a day and it just gets so messy, but I love the way it looks when it is all put together and it just helps me be less stressed out and it also helps the kids, well, Asher anyways, um, have more attention span with each toy. If it's not like a cluttered mess, I can definitely tell that he does a lot better and he's able to pull the uh, toys off the shelves himself and all of that. But he is actually watching TV in that clip, which I don't like to do and don't like to show very much, but we have been going through it. So if you want to say a prayer for my family, I would really appreciate it. We have been sick so much. It's ridiculous. And Asher, River, and I have had it so bad where the sickness is lasting like two weeks and then we had two weeks of a break and then we were sick again. So definitely rough and not best conditions for Christmas decorating, but it was snowing this day. I put my cute Mickey sweater on and I really did enjoy getting to do this with my little family.
feel like fluffing the tree is supposed to be the worst part but for whatever reason I always have a hard time with the lights because the last two years I've ended up having a strand of lights just not work all of a sudden even though I'm buying new ones like every year I feel like so then I thought I'd have to just use two strands so I tried to like spread it out on the tree but that never looks good I need three so I had to go find a third which luckily I had so I didn't have to buy anything yet but then I had to like scrunch the lights together so that they weren't so spread out to make it look more full and it ended up great but it did take me a while luckily Asher was really entertained doing that with me To start the actual decorating, I put ribbon and deco mesh on my tree. I've done it the exact same way the last three years, but today, or this year, I did try to make some changes to the look of my tree, so you'll see a couple things I add in, but I still started with the same like gold ribbon and white deco mesh. I don't know how I'll get away from this because I just love the way it looks. It reminds me of like those magazine or Pinterest trees and it's what I've always kind of wanted. It's just way more textured and I really like when a tree looks good during the day and at night. I feel like when my tree would just have ornaments it would really only look good when it's lit up at night but the ribbon and deco mesh just adds so much. I tried to be different and add in these like garland uh, strands or whatever you want to call them with these little fuzzy ball things. I've had these for a few years and I think I've only used them on a tree once and it was my little four foot tree and I like wrapped them around horizontally instead of vertically. Please tell me how those are supposed to work because I really don't know. Asher made such a crumb mess over there, so I had to vacuum it. This is why I tell my husband we don't need to buy new couches right now because these dark gray ones are old and we don't love them. We've had them since we had our first apartment, but it's just 
not worth buying something new and beautiful when you have toddlers that are just going to be destroying it. So <laughs> we'll see what we end up deciding to do. But I did decide to take these little fuzzy balls off. I just didn't really like the way it looked together. Please tell me, are you supposed to use these types of things vertically on a tree or not? I don't really know. go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you. So we have transitioned to a new day and I am cleaning up this space yet again, but it's okay. Um, today I'm actually going to start with the ornaments and um, I think I basically wrap everything up this day. Again, it took me so much longer than I thought it would, but that's okay. Um, I was able to clean up several times and uh, play with my kids and decorate my tree so it all worked out but I ran to Hobby Lobby this day and got new ornaments so I got um, these white foam snowflakes I saw spoonful of cleaning here on YouTube do this on her a couple of her trees or like her entryway and I thought it was such a good idea with kids and I thought they're really cute and beautiful and le way less expensive than giant ornaments I wanted like giant white ornaments but Hobby Lobby really didn't have what I wanted because I don't want sparkly I'm trying to move away from sparkly but they did have these cute little like fuzzy ornaments that look kind of like snowballs so I just got the snowflakes and the snowballs everything was 50% off and spread those out across the tree and this is what made my tree different this year I did a little bit less of the gold and way less sparkly and tried to go more like white and I think it turned out really well you'll have to let me know your thoughts and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you, with you. With I don't you. need any presents As long as I spend this day after putting River down for her nap, I tried to start a Hallmark movie because the Christmas Hallmark movies had started playing like this day or the day before or something, but it was just too cheesy for me. I just didn't end up being in the right mood for it. Um, I have a limited amount of screen time in a day because I try not to have the TV on around the kids. So I really just wanted to take advantage of it and watch my normal, which is Grey's Anatomy right now. Um, I have never watched Grey's Anatomy, so I am I started it. I'm going start to finish, and I'm already at season 8, close to the end of season 8. So um, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. If you want a show that is just going to go on forever and is good to pay attention to, good to have in the background, then I recommend Grey's Anatomy.
ended up getting this new rug at Lowe's and I absolutely love it. It just saves this space. It makes it so much better and it's especially fun with the tree there for Christmas. River has been rolling all around. It's so, so crazy. Give it to Bubba. Good job. Look, he's gonna put it on the top of the tree. Wow. <laughs> you like it? Is it so pokey? I think I want to try to find a tree collar at the after Christmas sale this year. I try not to buy too much when everything's full price, so I'll probably wait until then. But this is the final result of my Christmas tree this year for 2022. I think it's really pretty. I do really like it. I don't think it looks like perfect when I'm looking back in the video, some of the placements of the ribbon and stuff, but I think it looks perfect for me if that makes sense. I just really, really love it. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hey guys, it's Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to do another Christmas clean and decorate with me for 2022. I am in my basement today, which is essentially my playroom. <laughs> we have a lot of different um, play areas going on, but it is an absolute mess, like way messier than normal. So I need to pick up all the toys, decorate, vacuum, dust, do all of that good stuff. And I'm excited to bring you guys along. Let's do it. Yay! Yay. So my son Asher was really, really excited to set up the Christmas tree, so I had to do that before I could even clean up all the mess, even though I would typically like to start with a clean slate, but toddlers kind of rule when it comes to these kinds of things, I feel like, so I wanted to keep him happy, and it was so fun. This whole video will show you just the excitement of decorating with a baby slash toddler so if you don't know I have two under two this is my 19 month old son Asher and then I have a six month old girl River so yes my hands are full but this Christmas is such a joy it's going to be so fun to see River's first Christmas and just Asher being a little bit older I'm so excited and I'd love for you guys to subscribe and follow along I'll have more Christmas clean and decorate with me as of course and then I'll even be vlogging Christmas and lots of fun activities this year every child away for a Christmas time there is magic in the air I bought this white tinsel tree at Walmart a couple years ago at the after Christmas sale and I'm so glad that I did. I've never had a tree like this. We have been using a fake tree for a while now um, as our main Christmas tree. It's of course green, <laughs> but um, when I saw this for, I think it was like 10 to $20, something like that, I had to pick it up and I have been using it in the basement of this house the last two years. Honestly, last year I don't love the way it turned out, so I bought a couple new things like ribbon and um, just tried to fill it up this year. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It's definitely like a winter wonderland and it's so fun to have Christmas spirit in this little play corner in our basement.
these trees take so long to fluff out or whatever term you use to spread out all the branches and make sure it looks full and I definitely think that I did a good job this year I got a couple scratches on my arms but um, I think it looks pretty full and I then went in and finally got to pick up all the toys there was just a mess everywhere I don't know what has happened I feel like Asher just changed within the last couple days that he has been just wreaking yeah. havoc and making like everything it? so crazy it's pokey I do toy rotations with the kids, so I'm just cleaning up all the toys. Um, I'm gonna leave these, I think, for now, because he's been happy playing with them, but he's not really using the like ball pit or tunnels, and obviously that takes up a lot of space, so we gotta do that. Mm. Yeah, do you wanna help me? Wow! You're putting the balls in. Don't worry, we will get back to the decorating very soon. I just had to clean up this space fully to clear my mind and make space for all the decorations. Um, I honestly didn't end up decorating that much, mainly just the tree, but with 202, everything takes so much longer than you would think. It's an early December morning. Oh, wow. Give me a bite. Oh, wow. How about that work? Oh. Part of the problem with my tree last year, this white one, is that I used a white strand of lights that wasn't like perfectly white and clean because most of the time we used any of our white lights outside so they had just got kind of like yellow or messed up if that makes sense so it did not look beautiful and white and I, I just didn't even bother to like fix it. I think because I had a like nine or 10 month old and was pregnant so I was just kind of too lazy to make the tree perfect but this year I had to make it clean and crisp and perfect for my white winter wonderland. After lights, my next step is adding in ribbon. So I did not do this last year, but I bought this ribbon at Hobby Lobby when it was 50% off. I just got silver, knowing that that would go really well with my Winter Wonderland theme. And it definitely adds just something so magical. It's more texture, the tree is more full, and even though it's kind of light and you can't see it, when it's just by itself. Once I started adding in ornaments and everything, I knew ribbon was absolutely necessary on this tree. Thanks for this. 
past year Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share Watching this video back just made me think of all my home videos from when I was a kid in my childhood and my dad would always set up the tripod and film all of our Christmas decorating, mostly like whenever each of us would decorate the tree together and all of us kids would get to put our own ornaments on and all of that. So it was very nostalgic and just watching my kids is so surreal and so fun. So I thought about cutting out some of this stuff or like mainly just focusing on the decorations themselves but really in this video I wanted to share my family and I just love all the moments of Asher talking and how fun that is and I also just want to be clear like on my channel I love sharing my memories and my kids and it really is like home videos for me ah careful I just used this huge bag of blue and silver ornaments to fill up the tree. This is what I did last year as well and it works really well. I don't even remember when blue was my theme. It was probably like four years ago or something on my green tree, but it looks so much prettier on the white. Take me away, Christmas Day. I wanted to decorate this little shelf area and I was inspired to do like a, a little winter wonderland forest with the fake snow and everything. I used a table runner from Hobby Lobby and then I had this fake snow left over from my baby shower for Asher so that was a little while ago but if you can't tell I hold on to everything like all my Christmas decorations and reuse them but then I noticed that Asher was going to be able to reach the fake snow so that was a no-go took that away and started just adding all these little silver trees that I have and I really like the way it turned out but I ended up changing it the next day so you'll see the final product soon just shining like no other wrapped in paper No, I don't know Four gifts of gold But I'll be home for This is kind of what I thought would be like a final walkthrough, just wanting to show you what the tree looked like and I love the way it looks. I also show like at night, it's so pretty when it's lit up and it's it just glows more than like a dark tree. It just hits different, I guess. So I love the way it turned out. I love the little snowflakes, little um, 
pine cones and I just think it's so beautiful but I do end up making some changes the next day and do a lot more cleaning so stay tuned till the end of the video to see the actual final walkthrough. So this is the next day and I had to pull out the vacuum of course. All those tiny little white pieces of tinsel got on the ground so had to vacuum that up and um, I had Asher with me so <laughs> there's always that um, addition to the length it takes, the time it takes to decorate now. But um, definitely had to clean up the space and I'm glad that I was motivated to do all this with the Christmas decorating and cleaning because it definitely needed it and I love the way it looks now and it feels very clean. Of course, Asher will destroy it again tomorrow, but that's okay. What are you doing? You're so silly. Oh, your head? I don't think you fit. Do you fit in there? <laughs> silly. Oh my goodness. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. On this black coffee table downstairs, I added just this bowl of the silver pine cones, but I'll probably regret it, so <laughs> I'll be changing that out. Asher was my little helper, though. He loves the Swiffer, and he saw me dusting over here and went and did some himself, which is so cute. I just love watching all of these things, including my son and my family. It's so fun to watch and I'm really happy to capture these memories that are going to last a lifetime and we'll watch back on these videos just like I watch back my home videos that my parents made. Making plans, what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Not till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away I felt like I needed to add more than just the tree and I was still wanting to do that winter wonderland forest scape thing so I decided to add this other strand of lights and I went up on this sh like hanging shelf, a floating shelf that's what they're called, and then brought the light strand down to this bookshelf as well. I think that it's going to be out of Asher's reach, time will tell. You just don't have to think about those things without kids. So if you don't have kids, you're probably not even watching this video anymore. I'm probably bored of it. But this is just my real life and I wanted to share what it's like for a mom to decorate for Christmas. It's so fun and magical. It's just a little bit different. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I brought the fake snow back and I love it. I really hope that it doesn't become an issue. This is what I originally wanted to do, like having the twinkly lights underneath the snow. It just looks so pretty, but I decided to just do like the back half of the shelves, hoping that Asher will not be able to reach it. But he definitely has long arms and can get up on his tippy toes. So 
We'll see what happens. This is officially the final walkthrough. I love, love, love it. Other than like those light strands going up and down, but it is what it is. Um, this is such a fun little corner. It took a very long time to complete this, but trees do take a while, especially when you want to add in a ton of different decorations. I love the way the snow looks, especially on the floating shelf hanging there. And I had to show you what it looks like at night because that's the most magical and most fun. I love sharing the Christmas season with my kids. Asher is going to just absolutely love it this year with him being close to two now and just really understanding everything that goes on. So thank you for watching. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. You cleaning your food? We can hang out on the beach without free. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Got a teething Riverella. It is not fun, especially on a day slash week where I want to get stuff done before Christmas. But we're over here dancing to the Mickey Mouse song. Mickey Mouse, dance. What? You want to see? Can you dance? Are you eating a snack? Eat up. Put the camera here. Like this. Eat. Is that good? And then mama needs to eat a snack. Okay. Oh, you want the camera to eat? Mm. That is so sweet, baby. Mm. You're sharing with everybody? Mm-hmm. Mm Can you say Merry Christmas? What does Santa say? What does Santa say? Ho, ho, ho. Um, it looks like River might be awake, which is not normal. Maybe she'll go back to sleep, but today I am just going to continue to try to get things done on my list. I was able to at least mark a couple things off yesterday, but we did a lot of laundry, vacuuming this morning, so I just need to dust and continue to clean. 
and then organize lots of different areas which my husband's gonna help me with the garage so i'm not sure the problem is like the toy stuff i can't really do with asher because it's just usually oh did you slide yeah mama. it's okay it usually overstimulates him and then the garage um i kind of need my husband's help so oh that's right you need to move it to clean it really good Help me clean the table. Okay, come on, dust the table. I am on my way again. Can't believe it's been a year. Riding through the winter night. Thinking of my only wish I don't need a perfect snowman And I don't need the bells and bows But I'll be home for you mm, I'll be home for you Put it in. Good job. Yeah, get more. Yeah, get more. We need more. Gotta go get the mail because there are some Christmas presents in there so just wearing slippers down to the mailbox when everything is white glimmering silver white and stillness fills the night it's christmas a winter wonderland a snowball in each hand take me away this is the garage mess I need to tackle at some point this week, but somewhere in here, I hid my nephew's present from my son so that he would not want it. So I need to wrap this. It's so cute. Ah, I'm stuck. Jeez, okay. <laughs> I have some presents to wrap now. I wrapped a couple presents, which made a bit of a mess, but Put them under the tree. Uh, that means I just have a couple left to put in bags, which I'm not gonna do yet because I, or at least I can't put them under the tree yet because it'll get Asher's attention too much. Um, and then I also packaged up some cookies. So we've been decorating just like tons of sugar cookies and I decided to give 
a couple little containers to our neighbors. Um, we don't really talk often, but they're super sweet and I just thought it would be nice to give one to each of the people like right next to us. Oh, and I'm eating a cookie and drinking some coffee. Both kids are asleep. I've got TV on. It's been productive, but nice and restful. To the love that we share. Oh, what a bliss. A green red delight. <laughs> You like those? I've been wanting to do a little Christmas sensory bin, so I just threw some random stuff in here that is like wintry Christmassy. And we've got some cups to play with, some things to scoop. This is just like cornflakes that it, we never use. And then he really likes these little marshmallows, and I got him some big jumbo ones in there. And we're gonna do a little Whoa, sensory play. Look. Whoa! You wanna scoop stuff into the cup? Yeah, look, you can scoop it up. River is awake, so this is her Christmas sensory bin. Her version has a lot less marshmallows, obviously. <laughs> so, hers doesn't have any food. I just put a couple random objects, and we'll see how long she plays with that. But Asher's actually entertained him for at least like 15 minutes, so that was fun. We look out the window as it's starting to snow And I realize as you had me go, we got by Falling just like the snowflakes Tumbling down, round and around I'm falling just like the snowflakes Falling Okay, this is looking a bit more organized. Um, I'm probably gonna move like craft supply stuff downstairs, but right now, we do it in his little like toddler stool on the counter. So that works fine. Um, but I have all these bins from Ikea. That bin is empty, I think, so maybe I should just move it. In fact, let's just do that. But that's probably all I'm gonna do for now. It's definitely more organized and looks a little bit better. Caught in the act. He's over here opening a Christmas present. We have to wait. I'm in River's room, which has Asher and River's clothes in it, and I need to do some major organization in here. I wouldn't say major because I'm not gonna go overboard with it. I do this so often, but I need to go through clothes and throw some stuff downstairs that will go in our storage closet, just stuff that doesn't fit and we're not wearing. And then I'm also working on packing up stuff that we need to bring to my parents because we are gonna spend the night there Christmas Eve. So it's not that much as far as clothes go. Um, just like their Christmas Eve pajamas that we're gonna try to all match um, in my family and then um, a couple other outfits but I have to bring like both pack and play sound machines stuff like that um, so we'll be working on that today as well let us gather round it's Christmas time, a merry sound and the stars alight. Let us all rejoice when it's Christmas time and our hope again made new. In the crowded streets calling Christmas time, the ones we meet where the warm. Apparently, I have two naughty children. River's trying to open a present too. She's in the cutest little outfit though, so we just did a little photo shoot. Hey guys, it's Mallory here. Today I'm decorating my Christmas tree and I'm so excited to bring you guys along 
we are decorating early and I wanted to get this video up for you guys November 1st. I know some people decorate then, so let me know in the comments when you're decorating or if you just enjoy watching these videos early. But I myself have been decorating early the last few years and I love it. I love to have all the decor up for longer, especially with two kids. Just, it takes a while to get everything decorated, but it's also such a fun process to see the magic through their eyes and enjoy it as a family. I remember watching my old Christmas home videos. I love watching them. I love seeing how we decorate our trees and we did it as a family. So I try to include my kids as much as possible, obviously with young toddlers it's a bit tough but wanted to bring you guys along if you haven't subscribed already definitely make sure to do so hit that red button i am super excited for the whole holiday christmas season and to bring you guys along i also do a lot of day in my life mom videos and i would love if you like this video to support my channel and subscribe to follow along So we had to find the perfect spot for our Christmas tree. This is our first time decorating for Christmas or having Christmas in this new house. So we did kind of struggle for a bit, but then we decided we could put it in this corner if we took apart our great big couch. So we have a really big couch from American Furniture Warehouse that we love but um, it just takes up the entire living room. So we had to take it apart, carry it to the front room, which meant we also carried recliner chairs that were there up to our kids' room. So it was a lot, but um, my husband's yeah. a trooper. He helped me do all of that, and I think it turned out so well. It's the perfect place to have the tree. I had thought about putting it like behind the couch, but it just wouldn't have been the same. Now we can sit there as a family and look at the tree, and it's so beautiful and fun and magical and just makes it feel so homey and pretty. Then we started the beloved process of setting up the flocked tree. So this is my favorite Christmas tree we've ever had. I received it last year from King of Christmas and it's their 7.5 foot flocked tree king i think king flocked christmas tree something like that they have so many options but i think this is the 7.5 king pre-lit flocked tree and it's amazing you don't have to deal with any lights any cords you just plug it into itself and then plug it into the wall and it's good to go um the only thing is i had never had a flock tree before and it definitely makes a big mess so lots of vacuuming and it did get like on my outfit because i was wearing black it showed up even more but it is so beautiful there's nothing like a flock tree i just love it making our christmas memories i've been wrapping presents for you been hanging marbles in the tree and I lit my house with Christmas lights so you should come back home to me and when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play 
Another thing I loved about King of Christmas is they sent these gloves with the tree. So when you get the box, it comes with the tree, obviously, and then these gloves, which really help with opening up the tree and fluffing it and also a bag. So that green bag, if you remember when we were opening it, um, that storage bag actually comes with it, which is amazing. So much easier than trying to put it back in the box and obviously it, then it's free so you don't have to go out and buy one. So I really appreciated that. Since I had gloves on, both kids obviously needed gloves as well. So tried to get Asher to wear these gardening gloves and River's wearing one here, but he wanted his specific uh, warm mitten gloves. So had to get those for him. And then River ended up wearing the garden gloves, but I just thought that was funny. It's so fun to have them participate. It is hard at this age with throwing tantrums over random things and all that, but I'm at least glad they were able to participate some. This was my first year ever using a tree collar and I really love it, especially for this tree, just to kind of like hold up the branches, hide everything underneath and not have to mess with putting a tree skirt around. Uh, so if you notice at the beginning, we put a rug under the tree just to uh, hold the metal piece. And also then it's really easy to move the tree around if we need to. And then we just put this tree collar together. I believe this was from Lowe's. It was either Lowe's or Home Depot last year at the after Christmas sale. But if you're in the market for one, I know Target has some really cute like brown basket ones. This one, it's funny that I went with these colors, but I actually really like the way it turned out with the flock tree. Um, it's just kind of like a light gray color. So it's different than any other I've seen, I think, which is also kind of nice. Like it's fun to have something a little bit more unique, I guess. <laughs> but again, lots of lots of vacuuming when it comes to the flocked tree. Now it's time to actually start decorating the tree with ornaments and ribbon and I'm super excited to show you guys the final reveal because I love the way it turned out. So last year I had bought these white and gold different like various sized ornaments at the after Christmas sale and then this year 
I don't know why I just wanted to change my like color scheme and my theme um, I wanted to add back in red and like more traditional colors so I bought this little uh, like velvet ribbon at Hobby Lobby they have everything 50% off right now so it's very affordable I definitely need to go back and buy more um, I kind of ran out but I was able to stretch it out where I think it looks really good um, but I'm going to use some in the kitchen, I think, as well. So I need to go back. <laughs> but I wanted to add in red, and I knew I wanted big ornaments, like really big ones. <laughs> Starting last year, I don't know why, I just all of a sudden wanted that for variety and texture. And um, I just think it like elevates the look of your tree. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And I wanted to share with you guys my, my whole process and how I did it. So I started with ribbon and kind of did like this candy cane stripe effect, um, a little bit of a diagonal, um, which I've never done it like this before. Usually when I would do my deco mesh or my gold ribbon, I would just kind of add it like vertically up and down. But instead I decided to do uh, these stripes and I think it looked really good with the red. Again, it's kind of like a candy cane. And then I started with the biggest ornaments and spaced those out and decided where I wanted them. Then added in just various textured ornaments and again, it turned out perfectly. Like I think it's my favorite tree I've ever done. These huge red ornaments from Hobby Lobby were exactly what I was wanting so I picked up three of them and I thought I'll just space them out and see how it looks and I think three was the right amount because I already had three of the gold and white ones that came in a pack um, and those were actually from Walmart last year which I think they have the exact same ones this year um, or at least very similar because I did see them when I was shopping around. Uh, but this red, like shiny, but no sparkly, and then this color of red, which actually matches the throw blanket from All Joy, which is so funny, but um, got those, and then the ribbon, and like I said, it's all 50% off from Hobby Lobby, and it all came together so nicely. I was a little worried about the gold with the red, like if I would like it, if it fit my... Um, I don't know like vision but it turned out really well I had kind of been looking on Pinterest a couple weeks before this and trying to find some inspiration and I feel like I just was able to do exactly what I wanted which doesn't always happen and you can't always expect that to work out so I'm just really glad that it did um, these little textured kind of like snowball looking ornaments are also from Hobby Lobby. I got them last year and I love just having the various textures like those gold and white ornaments have a lot going on like different designs um, but then like having the theme of the red throughout where it's the ribbon all cohesive along the entire tree and then the red ornaments.
so I decided to do somewhat of a little DIY in this video which I don't typically do but I knew that I had these little tiny red ornaments and I wanted to add them in in a way that uh, looked kind of like mistletoe or like little berries so my original idea was to hot glue them together with a hot glue gun uh, but I forgot that I had decluttered mine at one point since I never used it so I actually ended up seeing like a reel or a, some kind of video where someone um, just strung together with a fishing wire or some kind of string some ornaments and I think they used bigger ones actually but I thought that this would work well for the little ones to get the effect I was going for and it kind of did um, it worked out well and I kept some on my tree I did a few different little uh, clumps of them and especially these three shiny ones I think it looks so beautiful and again just adds like texture but I do think uh, that it would have been better to hot glue them I don't know it wasn't perfect but it did work out and looked good I just didn't do more than a few little clumps and then I went in with these star ornaments which I kind of wish I had more but two ended up being okay just to add again more texture and variety to the tree I found these at the after Christmas sale last year but I could only find two they were also from Walmart so I don't know if they have them this year I haven't seen them uh, but if I do find them I would definitely like to pick up more um, I'd probably like to have like three or four in total After adding in the little gold kind of matte ornaments, I feel like my tree looks very full. It looks cohesive. The color scheme really came together more beautiful than I expected. And it just reminds me of this fancy hotel here in Colorado called the Broadmoor. It reminds me of their trees and I just love looking at it. Um, it's been a few days since I decorated and it's so beautiful and fun to look at. Um, I of course had to clean up this space. Um, things get a little messy as you're decorating. So I had to put all the extra ornaments away. I decided to return a couple that I had bought from Hobby Lobby that I just didn't really need. Um, like these kind of normal size red ones, which I do really like and I think they'd look beautiful, but I just didn't want to overdo it. I loved the way it looked, so I kept it this way. I actually still haven't added a star to the top yet, um, but I'm planning on obviously decorating like the rest of the living room, the mantle over the fireplace and all of that. So there will be lots more clean and decorate for Christmas 2023. Uh, so definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, but I am going to go ahead and decorate this little table under the TV um, and then that'll basically wrap up this video. Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time, smile my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over, we'll be dancing round the tree. So let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three. I always end up trying out a few things, especially when it comes to a like flat surface like this, like a table. Um, so I tried some different things with this table runner, which don't look terrible, but it was just kind of random. So I tried like laying it out across the whole thing. And if it was the right length, it would have looked nice, I think. I was trying to bring in some of the like farmhouse look and also tie in with the tree colors, obviously. So that didn't look great. So I tried out these fuzzy trees. Um, they were a little tall for the TV. It would have been okay, but I just wasn't really feeling them. I wanted something um, somewhat like simple, somewhat neutral, uh, but that would also obviously match well with the tree. So I think what I ended up with turned out really cute, uh, but it did take me a little bit to get there.
to give the gift of cheer. So come on in, come on up, come on over. We'll be singing all the songs. So let us have a swinging Christmas, just like one, two, three. The kids woke up from their nap, so I tried to have them help me decorate the couch, but we were also kind of in a rush, so um, I don't think I'll leave it exactly like this, but I played around with it a little bit, and I do like the way it turned out. I'm missing another red, kind of more like dark red, like maroon uh, type color uh, pillow, and I don't know where it is, but it has gold print on it, and it says like joy to the world or something like that. So I definitely want to find that. I think that would look really good uh, with the Christmas tree. Uh, but I do love these little candy cane pillows. Those are from Walmart this year. They were $6.98 each, and I just thought they were really fun and cute. I want to have like some more type like playful type um, decor for my kids because obviously it's their childhood. I don't want it to just be like a glam tree and whatever. That wasn't really my goal for this year, but it's just so beautiful and I love it. Um, I am planning on maybe putting a tree in the playroom and they can help me decorate that completely. It doesn't have to look perfect in any way, shape or form. I want them to uh, kind of own the decorating process for that one. So. Again, we'll be doing lots more videos. Subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications and don't miss out on any future decorating videos. And that is going to be the end of this clean and decorate with me for Christmas 2023. I love my tree this year and I hope you guys do too. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to continue with some Christmas content and show you how I am prepping for 2023 Christmas decorations. I wanted to go through all my bins, so I had my husband help me pull them down. Tried to start in the garage, but there's just really nowhere to like pull everything out, and I'm such a visual person that I really needed to do that, so I decided to take everything down to our basement. We're not in the basement very much, um, me and the kids. That's where my husband works, but I pulled everything out and went through it. Want to go through that whole process with you because I was almost going to buy a few new things and I was kind of thinking of a new color scheme for my Christmas tree and everything, forgetting about some of the awesome ornaments and um, even a tree skirt and different decorations that I bought at the after Christmas sale last year. So I always have this rule with myself that I don't buy anything until I go through what I already have. And it's really good that I did because I would have bought stuff that just didn't even make sense. Um, so yeah, I want to show you my different piles and bring you along for what I do to prep for Christmas decorating. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new 
Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you I don't know about you guys, but I love shopping at the after Christmas sale and I always find the best stuff. So it's really fun opening up my bins from last year and it's almost like these things are brand new. If you can see on the background or on the little bean bag in the back, I have a whole pile of Christmas clothes going. I totally forgot that I got some really cute Christmas pajamas for the kids last year and some other cute things. I got stuff for River's room that is like pink and I'm just super excited. So it makes it like Christmas at the beginning of the season because I'm already opening new things. And I lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me My dilemma is that I have such contrasting styles that I enjoy but um, I'm gonna show you guys each little section that I have going on and then it's really good I haven't bought anything yet because I was thinking about going red and white on my Christmas tree which is like I don't own stuff for that so that would make no sense over here is a really small pile which is my black stuff so last year I got my flocked tree from King of Christmas pretty late in the season compared to when I decorated so all I ended up putting on it was this black ribbon it's like a velvet um, wired ribbon and it looked really beautiful I loved it on the white flock tree maybe I could do that on my white tinsel tree I have multiple trees so and then that could all go in my front room which is already styled black and white like on the shelves um I painted the back of the shelves like the inside black so I think this would all fit well in there so that is an idea um some of this stuff could go like it has the gold it has the traditional colors whatever so we'll see and I do like the green which I have a little pile going of green, obviously green with different colors. So green and like more cream. So that one's kind of more neutrally. This one has like gold in it, which is really beautiful, but I just don't know exactly how that's going to fit in when the majority of my stuff is the neutral theme. So I think the idea for my main tree, which is the flock tree, would be like white and gold and then having neutral stuff in the living room that matches with that. Um, my stockings are, I have two white fuzzy ones for River and I, my girl, and then two of these like gray fuzzy ones, um, which is fine, like that matches the neutral theme. Oh, I forgot these are in here. More gold, like gold stars. Yeah, I think. This will be the majority of what I do. I do have a little collection going for River's Room, just cute little pink stuff I've found or received as gift. And then this I did wanna actually go through and show you just because it's fun kid stuff. So I am planning on doing some type of seasonal basket for the kids. Um, it's really fun to do that and I already have things so I'm not gonna like go out and buy a bunch of random little things. Obviously it can be affordable with going to the dollar store. I think that's what I did last year and stuff, but or the to uh, target, target dollar spot. But I think that um, this year I'm gonna just try to keep with stuff that we already have because I have some fun stuff I got at the after Christmas sale. This is an inflatable Mickey, which is super fun. Um, so I don't know, obviously like 
these usually go outside but it might be kind of fun to just have it like in the playroom so we'll see what we decide about that but it could go in the little basket um this was a gift from my mom it's just like a fun shower curtain so this could go in their bathroom for the season and then i have lots of books so um i did like put away all the christmas books we had a a couple like in rotation occasionally but most of these i stored away which makes it super exciting and fun during christmas so i just don't know if i'll pull these out in november when i'm like decorating or wait until december maybe i'll do a mix um but i don't mind like i'm not i'm obviously already looking at christmas decorations in october so I'm not one of those people who's like wait until after thanksgiving you're ruining thanksgiving blah blah i think it's just it all goes together like it's the holidays the season um so anyways this one was a new one i got at the after christmas sale which is really fun so that'll be fun to give them this was target dollar spot this was a gift from my sister-in-law this was a gift from my grandma so it's fun to have all the little christmas ones um this was a puzzle at the target dollar spot last year so i can just reuse these things in their basket and they would never know the probably most exciting thing that i bought at the after christmas sale from asher's perspective is this mickey mouse train i'm so excited to give this to him because when we were at walmart looking at christmas decorations and doing a little shop with me he really wanted to buy the trains so i'm super excited and obviously we love Disney and Mickey Mouse. We actually have a trip planned for Disney World at the beginning of, or yeah, beginning of February next year. So if you care about those kinds of things, you could subscribe to watch a traveling with toddlers vlog to Disney World. This all is from the after Christmas sale last year. So you really have to check it out, especially if you have kids, because you can get all these kind of fun things like window cling, stickers, whatever kind of stuff for super cheap at the end of the year. Um, this is a little sticker countdown for Christmas. I thought that'd be super fun. So it's like an advent calendar, but it has stickers inside and we love stickers. And then this is a little craft thing. It says ages six plus, but I think we'll be okay. We'll just probably use like different paint that we have or something, but a little craft set. And then this last little book, which I think I'm actually going to give to my sister-in-law because she speaks Spanish and she's teaching her son Spanish. So my nephew, so she can use that book. But all that to say, the kids stuff is going to be super fun. I'm thinking about doing an advent calendar. So that's another part of this like Christmas prep is the um, like seasonal gift basket for the kids. And then if I'm going to do like an advent calendar and have 25 little activities from December 1st leading up to Christmas day, um, which I probably will. And I think like a lot of these things will help me do it. Like I'll have the sticker countdown. Maybe we'll have like two different craft days with this. This could at least be two different days. Um, doing like a puzzle day where I bring out like all the puzzles that we have and we do the Christmas ones or whatever. So those are the kinds of things I have to think through. I've never done one in the past because when you have really little kids, it kind of seems like, I don't know, I don't want to like put all this effort and energy into something and then just be disappointed when they're not like actually enjoying it, I guess. I don't know. But I think at this point, Asher is two and a half and River is 18 months. And so I think they're really going to be excited about the everything with Christmas and it'll be super fun. So I'm gonna plan that as well. The other little sections that I have over here, I have an all white section. So I'll probably just add this to the like neutral pile and put like these white snowflakes on the tree and these white little snowball type ornaments. This is deco mesh that kind of looks like snow because it has this texture stuff. And then this is more traditional colors. So I'm kind of thinking maybe in the kitchen I do traditional colors just because like my mugs and everything are traditional colors. I like having the mistletoe out and yeah, but I don't know. This is the first time I'm like thinking through everything so much and having a hard time with it. Usually I just enjoy the process and let it happen. But this year I am enjoying like actually, I don't know, planning it and coming up with ideas of where I want specific things. So it's all gonna be really great. I'm excited to um, just start decorating. I'm waiting until November. It is the middle of October, so I can wait a couple more weeks, but I'll definitely be vlogging everything um, as far as like the advent calendar goes I was talking about, all the stuff of the kids, day in my life. 
and then also um, doing lots of decorate, clean and decorate with me for Christmas 2023. Hey guys, it's Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to do another Christmas video. So today I am going to do my first clean and decorate with me for 2023, but it's gonna look a little different because I wanna share three different ways to style your front entryway. I have several styles and color schemes that I like and I'm kind of torn between. So it was really fun for me to play around with different ideas, different colors, new pieces that I got last year. And I just thought I would come up with a few different ideas to hopefully inspire you as you're doing your own decorating. So definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. And you can stay tuned for all the upcoming Christmas cleaning, decorating, and other fun videos. had to start out by cleaning the whole space and starting with a blank canvas. So went in and vacuumed everything, including this rug. I wiped down the front entryway table, which is actually an entertainment center from American Furniture Warehouse. And I really love it. It has awesome cabinets that I can put decor we're not using in or tablecloths or whatever. And then I actually washed the rug in the washing machine and it's so much cleaner. So this was a much needed deep clean of this little area where people enter our home. I took this little mop that we have that's actually like a vacuum mop and it works really well. It is a little bit annoying. Like if you don't clean it every time, then it gets kind of gross and there's little features I don't love, but it is super helpful to make me mop way more often. So this first style idea is completely neutral. So we have a lot of whites, some tans. Uh, there were some browns, but I decided to take those out. So I wanna show just a completely like minimalistic, neutral look, um, if that's your style. I'm actually trying to get a little bit more back to traditional colors. I love all the neutral stuff. So I have bought quite a bit of neutral decor but now I want to add back in like reds and greens with my neutral and I'm hoping that works out well but I had a bit of a tough time I was like moving things around pulling pieces in taking things out but I really like the way it turned out at the end and I think it was definitely a contender for one I'd actually keep up even though I am moving away from neutral because I just think it's really simple and beautiful
in this white table runner is exactly what I needed to help just make the whole space look a little bit more cohesive and just bring it to a more white, neutral, bright space, which I really liked. So I also thought you could do like fake snow or something, but um, I just like the simplicity of this white shaggy table runner. And it's kind of like farmhouse type look. I don't know. I liked it. Um, I also loved hanging some kind of garland here. I thought this bead one was so beautiful. I just secured it with blue tape because I won't be able to leave it with my two young kids. They were already trying to pull on it and play with it. But this is the final look of the first style, the minimalist neutral look. And I do really like it. I think it's just bright and simple and beautiful. But now it's time to change to the second theme. So the second look is going back to traditional with the greens, but also keeping neutral. So it's really a green neutral Christmas. And I love the way it turned out. I love how it had some twinkly lights, which you'll see. So um, this was definitely one of my favorites, maybe my favorite out of all three options. But you guys will have to let me know what you think. I also like watching back and seeing like, even if I just left it like this, it would be really cute. And I like the home for the holidays sign a lot. I want to use it somewhere. Uh, but I decided to take it out and just keep green without the red pop in that sign so you'll have to let me know if you guys have any opinions or advice on how I should move things around it's always fun to just play around with it and see different looks and colors and I'm really glad I made this video because it's super fun to test out all the different decor pieces that I have and actually like use them and put them to use and not just do like one one and done I guess when I'm decorating I had the idea to incorporate some garland and I just laid it across the top of the table and then moved it around the decor where some things were in front and some things were behind and I think it turned out really well plus this is pre-lit garland from Hobby Lobby so it's just battery operated it has a timer it's really easy I think when Hobby Lobby is having their like 50% off these were only $10 I bought some last year and the year before so I'm pretty sure they just have them every year which is great um, I will say sometimes the lights seem a little more dim even if the batteries are new so that's kind of weird but I think it looks so nice with the green neutral theme I like having something like the garland or the table runner just to make sure the whole table is kind of cohesive and decorated I thought it'd also be fun to have garland hanging or bells like I've seen a lot of layered looks on mantles or tables where things are hanging down again with my young kids you can see river here it's not possible for me but if you can then play around with different layering because I love just like adding more and more pieces and I think it looks so cute what I decided to do here was add in that bead garland on top of the um green garland I was like what is it called um, and I thought that was a really fun look just to uh, incorporate again the neutral look with the greenery and I think this whole little space came together really nicely I had to add a little bit of height on this side and then it was perfect
when I changed the batteries and turned the lights on, it made this whole space just liven up even more. I think this is my favorite uh, style that I decorated in this video, but I'm still a little unsure. I'm a little torn between all three looks, but I thought the lights with the garland and bringing in neutral, but still uh, having green and a Christmas tree and just being very traditional, I thought it looks so good. And I was super excited to show my kids and get their reaction too. Come here, River, come here. You like it? Look at that. That's pretty. It's pretty? Do you like that? Yeah, do you like it? It's for Christmas. Do you like it, River? Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep I had to carry into the next day to be able to bring the third style or color scheme to life but I laid down the clean rug and then got more Christmas decor to set up this last style which is green and black so last year I started to see a lot of new pieces that incorporated this very like elegant elevated color scheme of black and green which again I really liked because it has the traditional but it's also like newer it just feels uh, again like elevated I don't know I just really liked what I was seeing so I bought a few pieces at the after Christmas sale and I did already have a very small collection of black with some of these trees and I also had this table runner that is like a really dark gray but it has some silver textured pieces like beaded into it which I thought just worked really well with the whole elevated and elegant look so Again, I'm torn. This is the one that's still up in my house right now because it's the last one I did. Um, but I really want your guys' opinion, so please do comment after seeing this final look and let me know what your favorite was. Part of why I really liked this color scheme when I saw it in stores and why it fits so nicely in my house is because I already do have a lot of black decor pieces. Obviously this entertainment center cabinet table thing has black, is primarily black. The round mirror is black. The little hexagon shelves have black wiring. And then in the front room that I have, that's like a sitting room right across from this front entryway, I even decorated the entire thing black and white. So the shelves are, uh, there's black behind white shelves and I have a cow hide that's black and white. So anyways, this just fits really well in my house. And as I'm watching back, just seeing the black pieces pull out the black in these cabinets, I think it looks so nice. I also have so many other ideas for how I could decorate this. I have a lot of gold pieces, which would match the hardware and would look really pretty with the black and green. I could add in red and do completely traditional or do red and gold. And then I also have tons of stuff for like Winter Wonderland, which isn't really my style anymore. But a few years ago, I did my whole tablescape and dining room Winter Wonderland themed. So there's so many different options, but I had to limit myself to three styles. And these are my favorite styles right now, which is a little bit more neutral.
This bead garland really ended up looking nice with every single style I put together and I think it just looks really good on this table or entertainment center. Uh, I wish I could leave it up but River was already pulling on it after this so I knew I couldn't. Um, the blue tape obviously is not the most secure. I'd probably use like a command hook or something, but that is going to be the final look. Definitely do let me know in the comments, which one was your favorite and do consider subscribing, hitting that red button and also giving this video a thumbs up if you liked it. So excited to do more Christmas videos and bring you guys along. Wow. Should we show Baba the new stuff we got? Wow. It's really big. It can stand. It can stand? You too can you, Baba? I see it. Oh, the lilac snow. Drifting down so soft and slow. Today, I am very excited to share even more Christmas decorations, Christmas inspiration all around my house. So it's a little bit random. We start off in my master bedroom. Of course, my kids are gonna be sprinkled in throughout the whole video. So if you've never watched my videos before, hi, welcome. My name is Mallory. Thank you for clicking on the video. I do lots of mom videos, home decor, homemaking. I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and follow along for future day in my life as a mom videos and lots more Christmas decor and all that so today like I said we're going all around the house so I'm starting in my bedroom we're gonna decorate my daughter River's room with pinks and go down into the main living area to add some extra touches as well. If you haven't seen my other Christmas videos for 2023, I do have a Christmas 2023 playlist and I will link that down below. the candles on the tree glow softly lighting up the lilac snow then I decided to keep it very neutral and minimal in my bedroom which obviously fits the overall theme if you can't tell there's lots of creams and tans and I just tried to keep my whole bedroom very neutral when we decorated it when we first moved in in April and I have been loving actually having like matching furniture and just a very like cozy neutral room. Um, but for Christmas decor, it worked out really well because I already had bought a lot of neutral stuff and over the years, like the last couple years, and now I can use it in my room and it matches really well. Plus I just thought this green was perfect with the throw and the little tree pillow, keeping it like very minimal on my bed. And I really like that. I love how that pillow that I've had for probably a few years is now being used in the best way in my bedroom. This space under the TV, I honestly didn't really figure out. I like to have empty spaces so that it feels very clutter free, but I also want to use my decor and obviously like cover all the spaces to make it very homey and cute. So adding in this sign I think works well, but it's kind of hard to read this sign. <laughs> it's on this like leather frame um, or framed piece of leather that it says Merry Christmas, but I just didn't like all the browns while it is still like kind of neutral it's just I don't know I don't like absolutely love this space but I didn't have a lot of time with my kids interrupting and trying to be involved. Mm. 
now we are moving on to my daughter's room so she is 19 almost 20 months old and we redid her room I don't know several months back I did a whole video but I tried to be like girly and pink but still like minimal and not like a bunch of crazy stuff going on so I don't know I really like it I don't think she cares at all but she does seem to like her new Christmas decor so to be honest I have not decorated my son's room I asked him if he wanted to pick out some like bottle brush trees to put in his room and he still hasn't so um, I just had bought these specifically obviously when I knew I was having a girl and when I had my girl it is really fun to have the pink Christmas decor So this pink tree is actually a lamp and my mom got that for River's room last year. Um, I think I might try to leave it up after Christmas and just see how it looks with everything. I think it's so beautiful and it is really fun to have just um, like a pink lamp in there. And the tree kind of just matches with like the rainbow theme or whatever. It's not too off brand for her room, um, but I decided to spruce up this basket a little bit with a joy to the world gold pillow um and then river was getting a little clingy so definitely have to uh be in mom mode while doing all my christmas decor this year so again i might try next year to just have like a day or so to dedicate to decorating and then let the kids like help me put the ornaments on or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. I will definitely be trying to add more to my pink Christmas decor stash for next year. I want to have little things like trees on those shelves and just add a lot more so i'm gonna try to find some at the after christmas sale that's definitely where i try to buy most of my decor because you know it's gonna go on sale obviously if you absolutely love something you should go ahead and get it i loved this little pink reindeer thing last year and then could not find it anywhere they had like yellow and blue ones they were these pastel like fuzzy ones and I really wanted the pink one, but I couldn't find it after Christmas and even before I had a hard time finding it. So when you see something you love, maybe just go ahead and pick it up. But other than that, I definitely try to aim for the after Christmas sale. I finally found the little Christmas wreaths I was looking for at Hobby Lobby. It took a long time and going to multiple Hobby Lobbies and I even called them to make sure before I drove over there. But this is what I was looking for. Um, these are a little bit like flocked, but not really. They're more like frosted, I guess. I don't know. But I'm gonna replace these snowflakes because I just don't like it. And we're gonna use this red velvety ribbon from Hobby Lobby that I also got this year. I like the thin ribbon. I have some on my tree, my flock tree, and I think this will look really nice. This is my first year trying this, so I hope it looks good. Also, I have so many cabinets, but I was only going to do two above the microwave, so I hope Bye. that that looks right. We'll see. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
bye bye come on in come on up come on over for the merriest time of year come on up come on in get together for a good time smile my dear come on in come on up come on over we'll be dancing round the tree so let us have a swing in christmas just like one two three I love having these wreaths in here. It's so much better than the snowflakes. It's exactly what I imagined with the red velvet ribbon and the little wreaths. Um, like I said, it took forever to find them, but I am so grateful that I did. I have several more that I wanna use somewhere, but I'm not sure where to put them. Um, but now I just kinda wanna put them everywhere. And I also love command hooks now. I like never usually use them, but they're kind of my best friend now, I feel like. Um, also, I didn't feel like I got this quite straight, but it still looks really good. So I got a bunch of these strands of garland over the last couple years from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I think they just have them every year, but I'm honestly a little bit disappointed. Maybe I just don't know exactly how to uh, like tighten each bulb, but like half of them are super dim, half of the strand. And also if it like moves around in a different way, then they are not lit up. So I don't know, that's kind of annoying. But they are like you can set them on a timer they're cordless which is really cool like it's just battery and i do still think they're really pretty i just this is my first time over the last three years um ever using any kind of garland so these are the only ones i've really experienced so if you have um like a brand or a store that you swear by like they have the best garland please let me know. And also if you have any hacks for how to fix the ones that are just like really dim or half of the strand isn't really working, do I just have to go through and like try to move around and tighten each bulb? I don't know, it seems really tedious. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. I tried to pull this, whatever these are called, down off the wall and like wrap it with the ribbon. I wanted to add the red and the pop of red to tie in with my Christmas tree and how I've just tried to go more traditional with like red, white, and green but I just didn't like the way the bow was turning out. River was pulling on all the ribbon and I decided just to keep it more minimal. I do love the way the wreath looks on it. And again, I just used one of those little like command hook things and stuck it on there. And I think it's gonna work really well. We'll see when I take it off, but I replaced the batteries on the garland and I do think it looks really beautiful up here. Again, for the hundredth time, this is the first time I'm decorating this house for Christmas and I like doing the mantle this way. It's similar or basically exactly the same to how I did it in our last house, but the um, above the mantle is all new and I do really like that. Baby, 
If you can't tell, my decor style, especially for Christmas, is very like minimal compared to a lot of other people and also like symmetrical. So having this Merry Christmas uh, sign slash stocking holder with these stars that match it. Uh, I bought these from Target a couple years ago and just having something like this where it all matches, goes together and it's just really simple to decorate the mantle. I really appreciate that. While it's fun to try to come up with um, your own little like, I don't know, tablescapes and things like that. It's also nice to just have something that you can throw up there, put together, especially with two young kids right now. I told my husband like maybe next year I could just have a couple days with the kids not in the house or around and focus on decorating that way but of course you kind of want them to be involved and I remember doing it with my parents like watching home videos of us all decorating the tree so I still need to find some kind of balance for that please let me know in the comments if you guys have a specific way or like any traditions you do around decorating for Christmas because I definitely want it to be like a fun experience for my kids and not just oh mom gets like I don't know crazy about it or something Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. So big. You like it? 